Welcome back. This video, part of a series detailing the differences between Windows 10 and Windows 11, will cover some of Windows File Explorer differences and behavior changes. After starting the computer and logging in, the user is presented with a plain default desktop. This is the user interface shell named Windows Explorer, and it runs just like any other application. As such, it can be gracefully shut down and restarted without any ill effect. To illustrate, right-click the Start Menu button and select Task Manager. Click More Details if necessary. Click the Details tab. Right-click Explore and select End Task. Click the End Process button to confirm. Close Task Manager. Depending on your visual settings, the desktop will either be an off-black or an off-white screen. Although Windows Explorer is not running, the Windows kernel, the operating system, is still running with all necessary and required services. To manually restart Explorer, hit the key combination, Control, Shift, Escape, to bring up Task Manager. Go to File, Run New Task, type Explorer, and click OK. Although from initial appearances, it may seem that File Explorer in Windows 11 is similar to that in Windows 10, a closer look will reveal significant differences. File Explorer on Windows 11 now sports a mini ribbon replacing the previous contextual tabs. However, most of the functionality provided by those tabs is still available in Windows 11 via the View dropdown or the See More ellipsis, depending on what is selected and active in File Explorer. Quick Access This PC Local Disk Optical Drive Clicking on the ellipsis, followed by Options, brings up the Folder Options dialog box that's pretty much the same as previous Windows versions. There is one difference, however. On the View tab, under Advanced Settings, there's a new checkbox called Decrease Space Between Items Compact View. This is the same as the View Compact View menu item. On Windows 11, the spacing between file and folder items when viewed in Small, List, or Details has a double space appearance. Selecting View, Compact View returns to the single space appearance that was in Windows 10 and previous versions. As with other File Explorer elements, the right click contextual menu, which presents content based on the type of item selected, has also undergone significant changes. In Windows 11, the contextual menu is condensed to provide the most used actions based on Microsoft's gathered user telemetry. However, clicking on the Show More Options area reveals the Legacy menu. The Legacy contextual menu for a file or folder has a new default entry, Copy as Path. Since the menu is contextual, right-clicking on the local drive presents menus that differs from folder menus, which differs slightly from file menus. Some applications will add custom entries easing access to their features. Depending on the current selection, a mini ribbon may appear at the top or bottom of the contextual menu. For example, Right-click in the file presents Cut, Copy, Rename, Share, Delete. Another welcome change is the default introduction of Open a Windows Terminal 
when a user right clicks a folder or an empty area inside a folder. This action will open a new Windows terminal with the selected folder at the working path using the user's default command interface shell. With Windows 11, Microsoft has finally fulfilled its promise of removing Internet Explorer. Even though it appears that the executable is still available under C, Program Files, Internet Explorer, when iExplorer is executed, Microsoft Edge launches. Type Internet Options in the search field. The control panel item named Internet Properties has changed, reflecting Microsoft's removal of Internet Explorer. On the Advanced tab, under Settings, note that TLS 1.2 and 1.3 are enabled by default from a security standpoint, whereas TLS 1.0 and 1.1 are disabled since both are obsolete. To open a Legacy Control Panel, type Control in the search field. With most applications, when the user clicks File Open or File Save As, the application is calling File Explorer APIs to Application Programming Interface to open the dialog boxes. These Open and Save As dialog boxes are File Explorer, where the user can accomplish most of the same actions and activities. With either dialog box open, the user can do things like get system status, check local disk space, open a folder in Windows Terminal, generate checksums for a file, open a file in another application, drag and drop a file or folder to a different location, or send the file as an email attachment. The Save As, and in some applications, Export As, is contextual in that it will present different options based on the invoking application. Microsoft Word, LibreOffice Writer, Audacity. A few applications, however, are exceptions. For example, the UI in GIMP is programmed with GTK and has its own file open and file save as dialog boxes. Similarly, Oracle SQL Developer is programmed with Oracle Java and uses Java-based file open and file save as dialog boxes. As with other user interface elements, Microsoft has made substantial changes to Windows Explorer. However, in time, users will gain familiarity and probably come to like the updates as Microsoft works to make the operating system platform agnostic where it works effectively on desktop computers, laptops, and tablets. Embracing the future requires changes, even if those changes seem uncomfortable at first. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If so, please like, subscribe, and share with those close to you. Your feedback is welcomed. Please leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts and or suggestions. And thank you for watching. Oh, 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 oh,